So you've decided that you want to lose weight, but you have one fundamental problem. Each time you see a bag of Cheetos, you gotta eat it. Each time you see a slice of pizza, you gotta have it. You're an overeater. You don't wanna eat the food, but you can't stop yourself from doing it. You finish your plate and you ask for seconds. How are you meant to lose weight with this problem? Well, luckily for you, I've got five tips that are gonna help you overcome this once and for all. So let's get into it. Okay, tip number five, you need to first of all understand your caloric requirements and macronutrient requirements. Because before we can stop overeating, we need to understand exactly what overeating means for us because the word overeating is different depending on the context, depending on who you are. For person A, overeating might be having more than 3,000 calories per day. For person B, you might be having more than 6,000 calories per day. It all depends on your daily caloric expenditure. It all depends on your macronutrient requirements. And you can calculate these using various resources on the internet, right? I will link some in the description. It's basic physics, guys. It's all about conservation of energy, energy in, energy out. If you are using up more energy than you're taking in, you're going to lose weight. Of course, it gets more complicated than that, but that's the beginner's explanation. That's all you need to know for now. So you need to know exactly what type of portions you should be having, what type of foods you should be having, and you can calculate this prior to going out, prior to cheating and having dessert number one, dessert number two, dessert number three, dessert number four so that you know exactly where to stop, right? So that you don't feel guilty and you can know with definite answer that, yep, okay, I should probably stop having these Pop-Tarts right now. Tip number four, try having high volume, high satiating, low calorie foods somewhere in your diet. You can think of your daily caloric requirements as kind of like a bank account, right? Let's say you have 2,500 calories that you need to lose weight per day. So you have $2,500 in your bank. If you were to go to the shops right now and buy a Pop-Tart or buy a muesli bar or something that is calorically dense, like peanut butter or whatever, you're going to spend a certain amount of the money in your bank account. So it might be $500. Now you need to think of it in terms of, will this fill me up? If you spend $500 and you're left with $2,000 left in your bank account, just from one muesli bar, chances are you're going to be really hungry later on in the day. So what you need to do is pick up some fillers and these things are usually vegetables. So for example, a cucumber. A cucumber is like 44 calories for a whole cucumber. A grapefruit is like 37 calories for like half a grapefruit. Honeydew, 61 calories per cup. Even some meats like steak. You can get steak, 100 calories for three ounces. Chicken, 92 calories for three ounces. You just need to make better decisions with the foods that you have. You need to choose foods that are filling, that fill your stomach up so you don't feel hungry. Because if you're just eating Pop-Tarts all day, sure, you're gonna get those calories in, but you're gonna be hungry as hell by the end of it. And chances are, you're gonna be in debt by the end of the day. Tip three, eat before you get hungry. I know it sounds simple, right? But if you wait until hunger strikes for you to eat, chances are you're going to be impulsive with your eating, you're gonna overestimate your hunger and just binge out and regret it. Trust me. The problem is when we eat when we are hungry, we tend to overeat. When we overeat, we feel full, our insulin levels spike, causing us to feel tired, then we feel hungry again. I'm sure you've had that sensation when you've been to a buffet or you've binged out on KFC or some sort of junk food and you swear you've just eaten enough to last you for three days only to be hungry later on during the night. That's because of these insulin spikes. So a way to delay this or a way to remove this problem is to pre-plan your meals the night before and pre-make them. That way you can have them right before you get hungry. You can have set times to eat your food so that you beat the hunger to the punch and you don't have to overeat. Tip two, eat slowly and mindfully. Don't eat quickly. What a lot of people don't understand is it usually takes 15 to 20 minutes for us to actually gain any sense of satiation from food, for our brains to get the signal that, hey, there's actually food in here, we can chill out now, right? So before we gain that sense of satiation, we tend to eat quickly, trying to force it, just trying to chuck the food down our hole to fill up the hunger. This is why a lot of um, competitive eaters are able to eat a lot of food, is because they eat incredibly quickly before they even feel hungry, right? So we don't wanna be competitive eaters here, we wanna lose weight, so we need to eat slowly, be more mindful without eating, take our time. The side benefit of this is we actually learn to enjoy the food more, to enjoy the taste. We tend to be more appreciative of the food if we eat more mindfully. So try that next time you're eating, eat slower and digest the food properly. Okay, tip number one, this is a simple one, drink water and keep away from having too many drinks with calories, right? 
you want to keep away from the sodas and all that stuff because they will give you that insulin spike that we talked about before which will make you more hungry but water what is a beautiful thing it's actually got no calories you can drink it um, you can drink as much of it as you want you should be drinking a lot of it throughout the day to stay hydrated sometimes when we are dehydrated or mildly dehydrated we can mistake that for hunger which then leads us to overeating we don't want that so drink your water flavor it up a little bit put a little bit of lemon in it put a little bit of cucumber if you want just add a little bit of flavor maybe even some branch chain amino acids or whatever just keep away from having an excess amount of calories in your drinks water is good for you water is beautiful drink it anyway guys those are my five tips to stop overeating know your calories have high volume high satiating meals eat before you get hungry eat slowly and mindfully drink water and not sodas all right guys until next time peace i know what you're thinking that's a damn good ant screen and you're right and also uh if you subscribe to the videos make sure to click post notifications so that you can see more of these end screens in your news feed because youtube's not gonna show them any other way yeah thanks